Hey, Duke, I see, I see you've got a new car. Yeah. You want to tell me about it? Well, I sure do. Should I get out? Yeah, yeah, please do. How are you, you know? Okay, well, this is your Fiat 500 hybrid. Oh, yeah. See, look over here. Hybrid. Got that's it. A, that's an important point. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I could say this is a uh, above average car, but what would that mean? <laughs> Good question. What's, what's average? It all depends on your, yeah, it means nothing. You need a benchmark. And I'm sure the question everyone is asking is how does it compare to the Panda? It's the Fiat also? Fiat Panda. And I'm going to say this. That's my benchmark from this point forward for the rest of my life. I'm going to compare every car to how it, it the benchmark is the Panda, Fiat Panda. Now, um, first of all, this is not a Panda. This is completely different. It's about the same size, but, um, well, first of all, the overriding difference is this is not a muscle car. This is a luxury car. More luxurious than the Panda. That's the comparison. It's a two-door, six-speed, six as opposed to a five. Uh, the bit, but the big difference, look in here. You see this, this uh, info uh, display? That's a touch screen. Oh. So it, it's, got, uh, it's got power windows, power steering. It's got air conditioning. It's got a USB port. It's got two USB ports. Yeah, the Panda didn't have any. No. So in many ways, this really is a luxury car. Uh, but, uh, let me pop the, the hood on this, baby. It's not a four-seater. Three-cylinder. I want to go back to that. Uh, I mentioned it was a hybrid. Right. I'm not being. I'm not being particular about the Fiat in degrading or talking bad about their hybrid because a lot of car companies do this, but I don't think anybody has done it to this extent. You might ask yourself, well, you would assume a hybrid has some kind of uh, battery. Right, isn't that That what charges that up and is used to propel the car along with the gasoline engine. This does have a battery. You can see it right here. See that battery? Yeah. Um, it's tiny. I mean, it's, it's, it's your normal battery for starting the car. Right. That's your hybrid storage right there. Wow. It doesn't have an electric motor. It has a starter, like all cars do. And if it needs a little more power, it sends current to the starter, which you know, puts a little power on the fan belt, uh -huh. which gives it a little more oomph. Now this is a, let's go about, speaking of oomph, this is a uh, one liter. That's uh, for the old folks, that's a, uh, still in cubic inches, that's a 61 cubic inch engine. And I compare that to my uh, first car, it was a 352 cubic inch. And then after a year, I got a, well, it was an unfortunate thing happened in the first car. I got another car almost identical, but it had a 390 cubic inch. Now, this one has 61. <laughs> but back to the, the hybrid. The, and this is just stupidity on the part of Fiat. Because you could, you could not open up the hood and look at the battery and analyze the whole thing. But they have a big display on the inside how much charge your hybrid has. Now, if you come to a little incline, maybe a quarter mile, up three or four percent grade, it goes from being charged 
to being depleted. <laughs> and then you get over the, the hill and you go down a quarter mile, oh, it's completely charged again. So <laughs> that tells you, that gives you kind of an indication of how much of a charge you had to begin with. <laughs> oh, it's just a joke. The hybrid part is a complete joke. So just based on that, I would downgrade the, the if, I, if I'm grading this thing, I would put it below the pen, I think just for the deceitfulness of calling it a hybrid. Any questions? Well, let's see. Does it, you said it has windows. It has air conditioning, does it? Yeah, it has air conditioning. Oh yeah, it's got all the luxury features. Yeah. No, no, it sounds good. And oh, do you like it? Would you buy it? Would you, you said you liked the Panda. Yeah, I'd like the Panda. Although, you know, on a hot day, I wouldn't like it as much. No. <laughs> but, uh, do you like this car? Well, I, it has its pluses and minuses. It's hard to say. It got us where we needed to go, I guess. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'll look forward to your next car review. All right. Thank you.